All right, pork and bean pepper pot. Um, we've got the pork, uh, I've got uh, the beans, uh, I've got two cans of beans, I've got a can of red kidney beans and a can of butter beans. You can use any uh, canned beans or peas you like. Um, I particularly like these ones with this dish. Uh, I've also got some green beans uh, which I'll cut up into small pieces. I've got some peppers, uh, a red, green and yellow pepper for the colour. have some garlic, have a, um, an onion and uh, I've got some loin pork. You can use belly pork if you like. I particularly like using loin pork for this dish. Um, and for the pepper element, for the hot pepper element, I've got some homemade Caribbean green seasoning that's made to taste of Trini's recipe. Uh, I'll link that below. And I've got some uh, Caribbean uh, style uh, hot pepper sauce. Again, a taste of Trini recipe, which I'll link below. Um, and I've got some oil and salt and pepper. All right, let's get on. All right, that's got everything chopped up. In addition to the other ingredients, I've added uh, about a, an ice cube's worth of, uh, of ginger, and um, I've added a, a generous tablespoon of tomato paste, tomato puree. If you don't eat pork for any reason, use the same amount of chicken thigh meat or turkey thigh meat. I, I wouldn't recommend using breast meat because it's a little bit too dry for this dish. Um, so uh, let's get started. Oh blimey, Spoonzilla's at it again, stealing the limelight. Here we go. Oh well, into the pot. You need a big pot for this because it's a big pot dish. You want to put a couple of tablespoons of, um, of oil and then get straight in with your meat. Good strike heat on that. In with your meat and give that, let that brown up a little bit. Okay, we uh, turn the uh, meat over on high heat until it all gets pretty much seared. And then in goes the garlic. What we're trying to create here now is a flavour bomb. A flavour bomb. We build the flavours up and up and up. Give that a stir. As soon as the scent of that garlic hits your nostrils, in with your onion. Remember where we are, we're on the flavour bomb here. In with your onion and give that a stir, get that going round. In with your ginger. And in with your peppers. Stir and cook that for a couple of minutes until the onion starts to turn translucent. Okay, once the onion starts to get translucent, this is the point where I add in a couple of tablespoons of Caribbean seasoning. As I said before, that's linked below, you'll be able to see that. And then stir that in well. We're creating, don't forget, this is flavour bomb. We want a flavour bomb here. So get that in. Oh, that, sm that smells awesome. Wonderful smell. And it's at this stage that I would add, um, I've got these little stock gel uh, chicken stock um, pots. And I'm adding two of those. If you're doing boning chicken, you don't actually need this. Or if you're doing boning pork, you don't actually need this. Because uh, you get all the flavour then from the bone. But uh, because we're using bone out pork, you know, filleted pork, uh, I'm going to add a bit of chicken stock just to give it that umami flavour, which is important here. Um, you can also use chicken stock cube at this point. Just stir it in, there'll be plenty of juice to break it up for now. 
Okay. As the juice comes out, the onion and the peppers, you start to see the bottom of the pot, um, it starts to stew. So it's at this point that we throw in the tomato paste, tomato puree. Give it a stir. See, Spoonzilla is useful for some things, apart from stealing the limelight all the time. And at this time, you're getting some great smells coming up. Right, in goes the, um, the cut green beans. In goes the, the canned beans. You can use uh, boiled down fresh beans if you've got them. And give that a stir to amalgamate everything, get the flavors going around. Still on high heat. We're working fast. This is a really quick dish to make. Now I'm gonna add water, about one of the bean cans full of water to see where we're going. So get that in there and give that a stir. Let's see where we are with that. Uh, I think we need one more. So that's, another can of water, add that in, that's just perfect, two cans of water brings it up perfect, and look how gorgeous and colourful that is. So it's really that simple to make, um, that now boils away, um, bring it to a boil and you want to simmer it now for about around about 40 minutes till till the pork is really nice and tender you, you probably won't have to do it that long for chicken or turkey meat you can probably get away with about 30 25 to 30 minutes um, and the very last thing i would add into that is some of my homemade hot pepper sauce uh, if you live in the uk and you can't make this um, one of the best hot pepper sauces there on the market. Make sure you get a Caribbean one. One of the best one is Encona, and there are one or two others that are rather good. Uh, and I might flash them up on their screen here for you. I would add probably um, about a tablespoon of that hot pepper sauce and that would make it uh, rather hot so uh, if you're going to add hot pepper sauce I suggest you add it one teaspoon at a time taste it if if you can stand it have another teaspoon and but really trust me go as hot as you can with this because that's where the flavor is and that's the authentic flavor uh, if, if you're really want to enjoy this dish to its full. I would serve this wonderful dish uh, on a bed of rice. All right, that's coming up to the boil slowly. And as soon as it comes to a boil, I'll turn the heat right down and allow that to simmer for 30 to 40 minutes, as I said. Right, that's coming up to the boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down uh, to uh, low and I'm gonna cover it and allow that to simmer now. For 30 to 40 minutes. There you see it's bubbling away nicely and now I'm going to show you the technique for mashing the beans. All right mashing the beans well it isn't rocket science um, what I do is I lift out a few beans and I just mash them up like this See what I've done there? Just grab a few beans, flick off anything that isn't bean, take that out of the way, and then mash up the beans. I know a lot of people in the Caribbean call these peas, so if there's any confusion, I do apologise. Now, please forgive me because I've got to try this. Mm. Try a bit of that pork, let's get a good bite right off the and some of that pepper and some bean. Oh good. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, if 
for my taste it could do with a little bit more so uh, I'm going to reach for the pepper sauce and uh, I'm going to carry on eating so uh, I'll catch you in the next video guys enjoy <laughs>